Welcome back to my channel, Fergal with John. Uh, today I'm going to do uh, spark plugs in my Suzuki Grand Vitara. It's uh, 2001. It's been about 100,000 uh, kilometers since I uh, changed them last. I'm using the Iridium, I believe they're, they're called, NGK uh, spark plugs. They're good for about 100,000 kilometers. And I'm going to show you the, the importance of using NECs. See, I've owned this vehicle now since it was three years old. It's uh, almost 20 years old now, so I had it for, what, 17 years, roughly? And any work I've done in this vehicle through its entire life, anything I take off, I put the anti-seize on the bolts before I put it back in. Also on the spark plugs. So while I'm doing this job, because I've done this job uh, 100,000 kilometers ago, I can't see any problems. Everything should come out nice and smooth. If I didn't use this, chance error would be all seized up. Anyway, we're going to get going. I'm going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Take the cover off right here. Spark plug wrench. Uh, what is it? Uh, five eighths. Make sure you, on this particular vehicle, make sure you get a, a spark plug wrench with the rubber inside, because those plugs are way down inside. Anyway, and just uh, a quarter inch ratchet at five eighths, and just regular pair of pliers. Okay. Okay, there's a cover that covers the uh, plugs. Right here. There's two of them in here. You take just the cover off, which is minor. And your three coil packs are here. One, two, three. And I should take that wire off. Yeah, one more thing comes in handy is these. If you, the wiring harness is held in clips on uh, two of these coil packs. So if you get underneath in the right spot, you should be able to clip them and take them out. So that way you get more, roof, more play in your wires. Okay, they're out. Now the coil pack, I don't know if you can see there, you push the back down. And you undo it. Okay, if you zoom in on this, you just push this down and it releases it. Get those out of the way. Imagine the metric size, the 516 works fine on this. Like I said, these were put in last time with NECs, so I don't anticipate a problem. These are the clips that hold the wire, they stay on there. So I'll keep those in place. The floor. Okay, just grab the coil packs. And you pull them up, and they come right out. And the boot is replaceable if you want to, but everything looks good, so I'm going to be reusing these. Here, that's one. Two. Yeah, they all look good. Right. And I don't know if you're going to see in there, but those plugs are way down there, so. Because they're so far down, I always take air 
And anything that's in the hole, I blow out first before I take the plugs out because I don't want nothing falling into the cylinder. Nothing in there, it's clean. And you take your plug wrench. Well, it's not too bad. A little build up, but not much. A short extension on this one when I put it back together. Yeah. They were due to be changed. A little bit of oil, so that means valve cover is leaking a bit, but not too bad. Nothing I'm going to worry about. Same thing, not burning oil. It's a little bit of build up, but like I say, they've been in there 100,000 kilometers. Okay, now I'll get the plugs ready. I'll do that over the bench, plus I'm gonna get a shorter extension for here. The plugs I'm using, you can see them here, it's the NGK. Iridium, tip, the gap is pretty much preset. So, what I like doing on these, is putting anti-seize on the threads. That way they never seize inside the cylinder. Because the heads on these are, I believe it's aluminum. Yeah, it is aluminum. And the plug is steel. So steel and aluminum never really play well together when you leave something sit for so long. Check, make sure the gap's the same on all of them. Yeah. Now we just put the anti-seize on the threads. Not much. It may look like a lot, but I still gotta wipe it in and wipe off the excess. Never had a plug seize in a cylinder. Because any plugs I do, it doesn't matter if it's a uh, vehicle, lawnmower, motorcycle. I always do this to every plug I do. So you wipe off the excess, make sure there's nothing down around the where the cylinder is going to be. Or inside the cylinder. Okay, yeah, those are done. With the rubber inside, is because... You don't want this falling out and changing the gap on here as you put it in. This one here is a uh, it's a snap-on swivel, 5 8 So it holds the plug in place. And let's just take a quick peek in there before I do all this. Okay, once it seats, always start them by hand. Now these are, I'll bring it up here, I'll show you. These are what they call, on me, these are what they call a collapsible sleeve. Now there's uh, two different types of plugs. There's one with a collapsible sleeve, and there's one with a 45 taper. 
So collapsible sleeve, it's anywhere between a half a turn and three quarters turn once it seats. A, uh, the one with the 45 angle, it's maybe a quarter turn. Like as soon as they seat, they just tighten up a quarter turn. These got to go at least three quarters of a turn. So it all depends what type of plug you have. So I'll start here. Right now, it's all it's doing is crushing that sleeve. That's half a turn. That's way too loose. That's getting tighter up to... Okay, that's three quarters of a turn. Now for the next one, I'm going to check my two different extensions I got. Let's see which one's better. That's no good. I should do it. Let's try it. Okay, that's seated. Yeah. Let me try the other extension. It's not giving me enough room to play. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. You can see how far down they go. Quite a ways. Okay. That one's in. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Three quarters of a turn. Okay. Next thing you got to do is just stand back here. I'll get some silicone dielectric grease. Just a bit of dried up silicone dielectric grease in there. I'll just take it out and put some new stuff in. Which is that I'm taking out. Not a big deal. Like I mentioned before, these boots do come off. You just Twist them off so you can put new ones in, but I'm not going to bother replacing them. Okay, and you get a bit of silicone dielectric, which is right here. Put some in the boot. If you don't do this, and uh, you run this for 100,000 kilometers, and you're going to try to pull this boot out, you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> it's not going to come out. And then you end up trying to... Uh, it's going to be hard to take the boot back out. Then you'll definitely have to replace them. Okay, I just put a bit around here so it doesn't stick inside. Push it back in place. Actually, while I'm doing this, before I put the screws in, I'm just going to, instead of having two things on my hand with uh, anti seize and silicone dielectric, I'll put all these in place and then I'll put the screws in.
That way there's only one thing in my hand at a time. If I had a boot, I would actually change this one, but I don't have one. Okay, we'll try it and see what it fires like. That side is good. Okay, I always use it. Like I say, if you put any seeds on, your life will, if you decide to keep the vehicle, if you're selling it and you don't like the person buying it, but you don't know that at the time, don't do it. And just tighten them down. No idea of torque on these. You can look it up, but just don't overdo it. getting these ready because I already have the anti-seize on my hands before I wipe it off. Anti-seize conducts electricity so I don't want any anti-seize on my gloves when I start doing the wiring harness. Okay. Plug them back in. And put the holders back in place. That's pretty much it for doing plugs in this thing. It's fairly simple. Screwdriver. Same with these, just tight. You don't imagine there's also a torque spec on this, but don't go ridiculous on it. Just snug it up. Okay. Now, the other side, it's going to be the exact same thing. So that's pretty much how to do a set of plugs on a Suzuki Grand Viterra V6 24 valve 2.5 liter. Anyway, 
If you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.